Embergen 0.75 has finally been released. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use animated objects as emitters and how to export VDBs and import them into Blender. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also check out my Instagram where I upload more frequently. Without further ado, let's begin. To begin with, we need to have a mesh that is animated. So I just go into Blender and import a model of a human. Then I add a human armature, scale it to the right size, and I just remove the bones that I don't want. Then you need to import the animation data. You can use Mixamo, but I chose to use animation data from Rococo Studio. And now I just pair them together and I use the Rococo Studio plugin for Blender. Perfect. Now just export the mesh. I tried to export it using OBJ, but it didn't work. So try instead with an Alembic file. In Embergen, you go to the node graph and add a import shape, and then you locate the file that you exported from Blender. If you can't find the mesh, try to scale it up so you can see it. In the end, I scale it up by 100,000 times. All right, looks good. Now comes the fun part. Try to slide around the different values on the emitter. Here, I just changed the pressure rate to a result that I wanted. I also decided to animate the pressure rates throughout the dance by using keyframes. When satisfied, go to the export VDB section and uh, type in the amount of frames you want to export. Also, don't forget to uncheck the show emitter box. By doing so, you remove the emitter in the final render. Now, hit export. Back in Blender, you import the VDB and locate all the files that you exported. Then you just scale it down to the right size. Last thing to do is to add a simple volume shader and also a HDRI to light the scene. The last step was to add a simple camera movement around the object. And then we're done. 